Hi guys, I'm gonna show you how to make authentic Greek moussaka dish. Here are the following ingredients. Three pieces of aubergine, three pieces of medium potatoes, one chop big onions, two crushed garlic cloves, 700 grams of minced beef, one tablespoon of salt, pepper and cinnamon, thyme, one piece of bay leaf, two tablespoons of tomato paste, 260 grams of tomato sauce, one cup of beef broth, and the following ingredients of bitumel sauce, four cups of milk, 120 grams of butter, 85 grams of parmesan cheese, two pieces of egg yolk, bake to 50 minutes, 180 Celsius until golden and brown. Hi guys, here's the traditional Greek food, we call it moussaka. Hope you like Hi guys, today I'm gonna show you how to make korabiedes in 20 minutes. Korabiedes is a traditional cookies in Greece that can be found in Greek home, mostly Christmas holiday or any other significant time of the year. Here's are the ingredients. 1 pound unsalted butter, 1 cup compassionate sugar, 1 teaspoon vanilla extract, 170 grams of almonds, 4 cups of all-purpose flour, 1 teaspoon baking powder, preheat oven 350 Fahrenheit, bake the cookies for 10 minutes until light and golden. Merry Christmas! Thanks for watching! Hi guys, I'm gonna share with you the Greek chicken and pork soblaki dish. The word soblaki simply means meat on skewers. Greek soblaki is a Greek street food, type of dish made of chicken or pork, marinated in traditional Mediterranean flavors. The chicken or pork treaded into skewers and grilled. It's generally mixed usually consists of oregano, thyme, sage, garlic and olive oil by marinating the meat is an easy recipe with very few ingredients thanks for watching hope you like it hi guys i've got a pork steak a vibration of beef steak tagalog in this recipe I use pork chop with varieties of ingredients. It's a good dish to cook for lunch or supper. Boil the pork chop in 10 minutes until it's tender and add some olive oil in a pan and it's brown and crispy. Add a red chili and cut into strips in low medium flame. Followed by the red onion rings, add a teaspoon of soy sauce simmered in 15 minutes. Squeeze a half lemon and cook for 20 minutes more until it's soft and tender. Try this simple recipe that you're surely gonna like it. See you in my next video. Thank you for watching. Today we're making the classic chicken adobo, greatest chicken dish of all time. Actually, really good chicken dishes that I like because I'm a big fan of tender. It's rich, salty, acidic, and beautiful on a plate of rice. Chicken drumstick and a bone in it, and 15 cloves of garlic and heavily crushed, a gram of pepper powder, and a red onion chopped into dice, bay leaf, soya sauce, fresh lemon, and mixed bell pepper. Oil to coat the bottom of the pan, then sear all of your chicken pieces in batches. One of your chicken is seared, increase the heat a medium high. As soon as it reaches the boil, immediately reduce to low simmer, cover a lid, and cook for 35 minutes. During process until your chicken is tender and liquid thickening, it's stunning and glaze sauce aromatic caramelizing away. Hope you enjoyed this video. You learned something, leave like, subscribe. See you again in my next video. For the time being, I start cooking and boil small pieces of pork meat until it become tender. Using penny pasta, cook it in danes called al dente for 20 minutes. 
in low medium heat for the fork stir it with a little bit brown and crispy add one cup of milk sprinkled with garlic onion pepper adding the pesto sauce soak it for 15 minutes and give it a nice stir make the sauce nice and thick after 15 minutes the lovely pesto sauce is ready we start plating put the penny pasta adding the pesto sauce with parmesan cheese on top garnish with parsley here's the fork penny pasta hope you like it personally this dish the most delicious way to add turmeric into your diet one cup of rice boiled steam adding turmeric powder fresh chopped kale leaves add white vinegar to clean and wash the kale to remove the residue after draining on a pan medium heat saute the garlic onion tomato follow the two pieces of egg mix all together add the kale leaves with spices for four minutes is perfectly cook for the turmeric fried rice medium heat oil add a small pieces of turkey ham diced carrots add garlic powder with the turmeric steamed rice break any clumps until the natural color spread after 10 minutes the rice is done here's the kale scrambled egg with turmeric fried rice if you like this video please thumb up don't forget to subscribe today i'm gonna make a little bit difference making a drink one of my favorite avocado yogurt smoothie pour the chai seed together with a vanilla yogurt adding some milk a dash of honey one piece of avocado blended in 10 seconds pour a bit of water blend it again until thick and creamy consistency i use a hybrid glass adding the dash of honey for more sweetness for the blended avocado smoothie give it a stir my avocado smoothie is ready thanks for watching don't forget to thumbs up and like and subscribe today i'm going to make oatmeal banana pancake i absolutely love eating pancake for breakfast it's so healthy i'm not using any flour no granulated sugar in this recipe first thing i'm gonna do measure one cup of oat i prefer gluten free dump into a blender must be a little bit more powdery and add one half cup of milk in a pinch size it until perfect texture added two pieces of eggs with two pieces mashed banana Followed one half teaspoon vanilla extract, mix all together until kind of nice and thick. A little bit coconut oil in the pan, move it a little so we get a nice coating medium heat. Pouring mixture into the pan, let it cook for 10 minutes on each side. Beat it up when you saw a couple of bubble until nice and golden. Plate this up, going to top a choco sauce and sprinkled with mixed nuts. I hope you give it a try. I'll see you in the next video. Hope you like it. Today I'm going to cook tuna kale spring roll. Wash and drain the chopped kale, boil it for 2 minutes. After cooking, drain it. Mix the tuna flakes together with a boiled kale. Adding the garlic onion powder, 1 egg. Mix all together and set aside. For homemade rapa, 1 cup of flour, 1 teaspoon of salt. Adding 1 cup of water. Mix all together. Cover a clean film for 10 minutes. After, pour butter for a low heated pan, spread evenly, cook 45 seconds, let it cool down. A scoop of tuna kale, place on the edge of the wrapper, seal it, repeat process until you're done. Indicate bubble, oil is hot, samirid, rule cook in batches, brown and crispy. Serve with your favorite sauce. Here's the tuna kale spring roll. If you like this video, give a thumbs up, like and subscribe. This traditional Greek dish is made with layers of pasta topped with a rich meat sauce performed with a hint of cinnamon and thick layer of bechamel cheese sauce. Heat the oil in medium flame, add garlic onions, cook stirring for 6 minutes softening, increase the heat, add minced beef stirring 5 minutes until brown. Add the Mediterranean seasoning, mix tomato sauce, bring to the boil, then season, reduce heat, simmer for 20 minutes. Mix all the ingredients for vegetable sauce, cook the penny pasta, 
boiling salt it until just al dente, drain it, mix with pita cheese and white egg yolk placed in overfruit dish. Top with a minced beef, freezing down a spoon, pour the bitumen sauce on top, sprinkled with grated cheese, bake for one hour, 180 degrees until golden and bubbling. Here's my favorite Greek recipes, Greek pastations. Hope you like it! I'm gonna do broccoli omelette and fun fried salmon filet. Very simple and very fresh. Here are the basic ingredients. 3 quarter cup of broccoli puree. Wash and drain it. Cut into very thin pieces. Combine broccoli and egg together with garlic, onion powder, oregano, black pepper and salt. Mix well to get fluffy mixture. Add 1 tablespoon olive oil in the pan. Must be on medium heat. While pouring, cook it in 8 minutes on low flame. After 4 minutes, plate it up. Wait for 4 minutes to make it perfectly cook. 2 pieces of fresh salmon filet. Add the condiments, garlic and onion powder, oregano, black pepper, and salt. Little olive oil in the pan. Cook medium heat for 5 minutes. Here's the final plating. Hope you like it. I'm going to show you how to make banana chocolate cake. Here's the ingredients. 2 cup of silk raising flour. Sip it. 3 4 cups of chocolate powder. Adding 1 and a half tablespoon baking powder. 1 half teaspoon of baking soda. 1 half teaspoon of cinnamon powder. 2 pieces of mashed banana. 2 pieces of egg. 1 cup of milk, 1 half cup olive oil, 1 cup of white sugar, and 1 teaspoon of yeast. Mix all together. Preheat it oven 180 degrees for about an hour. After one hour, have taken it's perfectly baked. Hi guys, this is it. My chocolate banana cake. Hope you like it. Sauté the diced beef in 10 minutes. Prepare all the ingredients. Add the tomato sauce. Mix all together. Slice all the vegetables in small pieces. After 15 minutes, pour all the ingredients. Add the salt, pepper, onions, bay leaf. Cook it in 2 hours low plane. Here's the final plating of Greek beef estipado. Hope you like it. God bless you all. I'm gonna show it to you the Greek style espresso ice coffee. They call it Fredo Espresso. Okay, I prefer to use this fine glass and any glass you can use it. I'm gonna get the brown sugar. I'm gonna use this Nescafe Gold Blend Espresso Coffee. I'm gonna use this coffee mixer. For me, I prefer to put one and a half teaspoon of coffee. I don't want too sweet, so I just put only half teaspoon of brown sugar. And then we need a hot water. It's super hot. And then we're gonna pour in the pint glass like one quart. We're gonna mix the coffee in 40 seconds of mixing. This is the final the salt and then I'm gonna add a dash of milk that's it okay I'm gonna add the ice cubes after I've added the ice cubes now I just stir it using my favorite color straws then here you go mmm